All right, I want to demonstrate uh, the auto lease and then mixing stages for one of our straight doughs. This is the 40% whole wheat overnight dough. And what that means is 40% of the flour in the total dough mix is whole wheat flour. So that's going to be 400 grams because the total flour in every recipe in this book is, for, is uh, 1,000 grams or one kilo. And that follows the French standard for baking recipes uh, from which you can adjust up or down and you just keep the exact same uh, ratios, thankfully. <laughs> uh, so 400 grams of whole wheat flour and we add 600 grams of white wheat flour. People usually just say white flour and they say wheat flour to mean whole wheat but this is wheat too so change your words. Okay, I've got actually short 86 grams so we're going to make this 48% whole wheat flour, <laughs> which is fine with me. The thing is, is, you know, if you run out of one ingredient and you got other flour, you can use whatever flour blend you want. Uh, it's a, just another example of, you don't need to panic, just make an adjustment. So I've got a thousand grams of flour in my bowl here. I'm going to mix them up by hand. And this is a good time to point out the advantage of this method where everything happens in this 12 quart Cambro tub. We weigh our flour, we're going to mix our dough in here, uh, we're going to apply our folds, the entire bulk fermentation is going to take place in here and the dough stays in here all the way until the point when you need to remove it to divide and shape into loaves. You're not using any stand mixers, everything's done by hand, uh, there's really kind of no muss, no fuss. And once you get familiar with the rhythm, these things all happen very fast and it turns out to be very little work, plus it's the same technique for all the doughs in this book. So once you learn the basic methods of weighing, using the auto lease, hand mixing the dough using my pincer and fold method, then at that point all the other recipes for doughs in this book are accessible to you without relearning a new technique. I think that's a good benefit, I hope you do too. So we've got the flour scaled out. I want, I want to use 800 grams of water for this. Uh, whole wheat flour absorbs more water than white wheat flour. So to get the same kind of consistency in a dough that you would have if it's all white flour and 78% hydration, uh, if you got a lot of whole wheat flour, you probably need to be in the low 80s, 81, 82% hydration to get the same consistency. So um, I'm going to actually correct myself and I'm going to go to 82% water on this because I had to put more whole wheat flour in. So there you go. I had water that was already weighed out at 90 degrees, put the empty bucket on here, scaled it in, piece of cake. Now we're going to do uh, the rest of the auto lease stage is simply mixing the flour and the water together just until incorporation. You're not looking for any dough development, there's not a lot of pincing and folding here, it's just incorporate so there's no more loose flour left in the bowl, dry flour, rather it's all hydrated. And the point of the auto lease is to hydrate the flour before you introduce salt and yeast. Also gets the enzymatic activity rolling. Uh, and the enzymes do a lot of good things for the dough that are beyond the scope of this video. Nice wet dough. There it is. <laughs>